What happens when we have to multiply three fractions together? Well, the process is exactly the same. We multiply all of our numerators together. So in this case, we would multiply 25 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 36. And we would multiply our denominators together, 8 and 27 and 15. But one easier way maybe to reduce this fraction up front and to find common factors in our numerator and our denominator. Well, we can see that 25 is 5 times 5, and we can write it as such. And 24 is 3 times 8, and 36 is 4 times 9. In our denominator, we have 8, which is just 8. And look at, we have this one here, 8. We have 27, which is 3 times 9. And we have 15, which is 3 times 5. And you can see that I have 5s that cancel to a 1, 3s that cancel to a 1, 8s that cancel to a 1, and 9s that cancel to a 1. And we can multiply our, what's remaining in the numerator for 5 times 4, which is 20, over what's remaining in the denominator, 3. 20 over 3. Um, because 3 is not a factor of 20, we know this is reduced to its lowest terms. It's an improper fraction. We could leave it as such, or we could take 20 and divide it by 3. 3 goes into 20 uh, 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18, remainder 2. And so we have 6 and 2 thirds as a mixed number. And of course, 6 and 2 thirds is exactly the same amount as 20 thirds. And so there we go is our answer. And 